Welcome back to RimWorld, where we are currently in the process of getting our ass handed to us because I keep poking the big void bear. We'll be fine, I said. We're ready for void. Oh, well, in fact, I think my exact words were, I will fist void. <laughs> Turns out we weren't quite as ready as I assumed, and we were the ones that almost got fisted yesterday. A lot of pretty hefty damage was dished out. We did also have a, a staggering a amount of raids in... <laughs> <laughs> you know it's too many raids when it starts to list five of them simultaneously. Now, as a word of warning up front, I fully expect that to pretty much continue today, given that we are still on the Void Storyteller. Our colony wealth barely took a hit. So we're going to be continuing at more or less that same difficulty. Probably also worth mentioning that some of our experiments have gone a little bit awry. Yeah, you uh, remember that bio weapon we spent multiple episodes and thousands of mechanites investing into to... Turn into a horrific monster of a man. Turns out those butcher's nails really were a terrible idea. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that Ohm can actually take him out at this point. Ideally without killing him. I think poor Captain Cube has been resurrected enough times. Oh no. It would please be careful with that. Oh! Don't knock any limbs off. They're too expensive to replace. Three of our best melee characters can't bring him down. Ah, oh, shit. I'm paying for my crimes. I really am. How's he holding up? Bleeding out in nine hours. Oh! Cut off one of his arms. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, I won't lie. Smelly, put that drill away, for God's sake. I... <sighs> Captain Cuba has been beaten to death. <laughs> if it was anyone else, I'd be really, really annoyed. The fact that it's Captain Cuba, though, the guy that we've resurrected... I feel about six times at this stage. There's something quite quite poetic about that. Was that Ohm? It was Doodlesack? Well, Doodlesack ripped his head clean off. The fact that a guy with no particular bionic, and more importantly, just his regular human fist was able to kill him instantly, that was most likely down to some reward to kill bullshit more than anything else. And I guess that's the gamble with butcher snails, right? Occasionally they're gonna go berserk, and you're gonna have to try and knock them down in a fairly safe way. If we ever plan on using those again, we need non-lethal weapons just ready to go. I mean, in theory, fists are non-lethal weapons, but never mind. Whoa, 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 hold on. Two questions. Number one, uh, what's happened to Uwu? <laughs> Question two, why have we got a medical emergency? Severe illness, what the fuck? <gasps> Oh, right. Yeah, see, this is why you don't play around with bioweapons. Captain Cuba had those plague lesions that we've had since, well, ages now. The industrial era, I think we bought them. Purgle's rot, 90% spread, 26% immunity. Holy shit, what? Exceptionally lethal. Yeah, you're not- you're not wrong. Well, hold on though, he wasn't the only one in that fight. Who else was it? Uh... Smelly has it too. 17% spread, 21% immunity. Ah, oh, shit. Uh... Ohm? Ohm is- is more than okay. 79% immunity, 48% spread. Wow, even with Ohm, with all of his insane... everything, the man's got 250% blood filtration, and that thing... Still got that far. Holy crap. Who else was affected by it? The Struperus is out from the previous raid. Fendodorp is out because of old age. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Uwu. Also Purgle's Rot, but fine. Doodlesack is, uh, is, is dead. I, I'm sorry. I don't think there's any way around that. Oh my god, Smelly as well. 17% spread, 21% immunity. This medicine that we've been making, does it count as glitter wall medicine? Oh, we've got 62. We should be all right. Briglebowski. Okay, Briglebowski is out from the raid. Same with Corrupt. Holy shit. And there it is. Wow. Purgle's Rot caused Doodlesack to die. That is... I mean, it's, a, it's an incredible story. It's a tragic loss. But pretty incredible. Two innocent colonists just paid the price for our... Our meddling. I was so intent on trying to fist void. I didn't stop to think why. And it turns out we were the one that were fisted. No. The man isn't even cold. The shattered sovereignty, the empire. Oh my god. <laughs>
I don't know if that's quite what I was expecting. 91. Wow. That did kind of take me by surprise a little bit, I won't lie. You guys, wait there. We've got we've got a person to bury. Goodbye, Gary Doodle Sack. You will go down in legend as a man who selflessly gave his life to stop the mad Captain Cuba from harming anyone else. We're gonna send Omen to get their attention. I won't lie. I'm a little bit concerned about this raid. It's only the Empire, but they've got a lot of armor penetrating weapons there. We're gonna send Ohm. We're gonna do a tactical bonk. And then we're gonna run back to the kill box as fast as possible. Kill that man. Kill that man. Come on. That won't be enough to bait them out, but it's a good start. It does feel a little bit um overpowered that their artillery blueprint appeared on the other side of the wall, but that means Ohm can sit here and hammer all these child soldiers from the safety of a giant steel barrier. And number three. <laughs> number four. My name is Ohm, prepared to be crushed. Whoa, 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 whoa. What have they got here? Whoa, they've got drugs from Science Never Stops. Number five. Number six, the Corrupted Raider. Hey, that's a good one to get out of the way early on. Nice work, Ohm. Only another 85 to go. No, another one. Another friggin' mech cluster too. Wow. Okay, we'll worry about that later. What are, what are they doing? Why aren't they building their... Oh, wait, can they not build that one because it's spawned in on... Oh my god, look, it spawns somewhere where they can't actually build it. It's on top of a, uh... A, is that a steam vent? What is that? Or is that a helixian gas? I think that's just a regular old remote steam one, isn't it? So I think that one spawned in where they can't build it, and this one is obviously on the other side of the wall, so... We could just wait them out. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> this is, um... This is insane. Well, I was going to wait here and just be sensible and take no risks. Because that is potentially going to get keep people killed at the rate we're going. Why don't we put a hole in the wall. See if we can bait a couple through. And by a couple, I've apparently meant the entire... Oh, God, don't be careful. That's beta polyarmor. Which is already obscene. 438% sharp resist, by the way. And they've got a plasma saw, which deals uh, burn damage. You know, that one thing that we can't seem to block. We're going to have to carefully pick and choose who we kill here. Because the guy in the beta poly armor is unkillable until we break the armor. And the armor has 5,500 hit points. This legendary shield bout is holding it down. Holy shit. What is that? What have you got there? Steam hammer. Well, I mean, luckily the friendly fire from the coil guns is uh, doing some really good work here for us. Uh, it's just occurred to me. Maybe we shouldn't be here. They're psychasters. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, look, if they drive in berserk, they drive in berserk. He's far enough away where at this stage, I don't think it could matter. The shield belt is down and he's immediately taking damage. Bruce him a charge LMG, a crack in his advanced bionic gear. They've decided to steal what they can and leave. Okay, well then, Ohm leaves as well. Let's get him home. Right, turn off fire at will and just keep running. Come on, come on, get out of there. Ohm is safe. Imperials are flaying. All we've got to do is deal with a staggering amount of mechanoids. I'll let them have some time first just to, just to chill. They've been stood in a kill box for ages. Ah, oh, keg denter. I can't help but notice that is a monumentally shit idea. Getting the bloody drill lance back. Brilliant. Oh, good. Yeah, no, this is fine. That's both both of the clusters, by the way. The scullywags are bursting the doors open. Okay, no pressure, squad. Might need to reinforce the farms. Now, bear in mind, last time it was the mechanoids that gave us a lot of trouble. Specifically those beta humanoids and the... What were they called? The bastions? If they're filtering in through here and going one at a time, I think we'll probably be okay. Uh, an inquisitor. Hello. What is that you've got there? Inquisitor Railgun. Yeah, that does make sense. Good work, Shotgun Diplomacy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! I'm going to say Search and Destroy. Uh, and I think I'm just going to let him go butt wild at this point. Avion is down. Avion, don't panic. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Open the floodgates. Kill them all. Hey! Don't do that. That's an antique. Stop them. The wall is like 400 years old. Oh my god, look at the damage. Corrupt is down. Why? Pain. Bra Mangled Scar. Oh no. When did that happen? Was that was that just now? Crow is down. Dead in three hours. Okay, might need to do something about that. Oh, Quizzer Railgun again. 
No Plateman, no Centipedes, nothing like that. It's always these Polaris block enemies. They really have up the ante with the Mechanoid Raids, huh? Same story. Look at that. All from the Inquisitor and burn damage. Nice. Oh, I sure hope those move bonuses stack because we're probably going to need them. Defeated Mech Cluster times five. <laughs> Bring Lebowski in three hours. Okay, that one's... That one's a fairly big emergency. That's one, two, three, four, five colonists down. Arcadius himself is damaged, but overall not too bad. What a complete mess. Hey, that person we grabbed from the commandos, I think it was. Yeah, I remember Staggeringly Ugly and Sickly are both things we should be able to fix with plastic surgery. That, that was nowhere near enough time. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Ohm and Cuddles and Toy Boy Roy. And even with all three of them crafting constantly in between raids, we still can't keep up with the weapons and the armor demand. Luckily, this one is, uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty small one. Oh, it's all Scythers. Thank you, Ohm. Very cool. Okay. Okay. That was, a, that was an easy one. That was a fair one. And what? Someone's put that baby in the dumpster. And on the subject of baby... Who was pregnant? Now, who was who, who Pepper Stasius? Who was that? I mean, I know. I don't know who it is. Uh, oh, it's Dr. Toy Boy Roy's wife. Got it. Oh, good. They're using sappers. Well, I mean, good luck with that. Okay, to their credit, it'll take them a while, but they will actually get through. Now, these guys are the Elder Faction, don't forget, and they will potentially have Berserk Psycasts. I think, to avoid another Cat in Cuba situation... We get Ohm on that side by himself. We send everyone else uh, to fuck off entirely. Then we're going to take Penny, who has uh, almost 30 melee. I'm going to give you the title uh, Master at Arms. And then with Ohm on one door and Penny on the other, we should be good. It happened exactly how I said it would. Okay, fine. He's far enough away now. Well, that's probably not going to be an issue. The same will probably happen to Penny. Penny's a little more manageable. We could just try and punch her down again. Holy shit. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Almost 69 nice years of age and 30 melee. I think we should, uh, should probably refer to her as, you know, maybe some sort of uh, battle grandma. Nice. There we go. Ohm's done it. I'm kind of hoping Ohm will follow them out so that we can at least let our people out of the cathedral, but also not have to worry about getting horribly murdered. There we go, that's it. Yeah, bait him off the map. Nice. So he'll probably just stand there and mind his own business. I'm still going to be very careful with our people. We'll let them grab some lunch, and I'll just keep a very close eye on him. Thank God he chased down that 12-year-old. Careful there, Avion. Well, everything has calmed down now. Void hasn't sent anything for a good 12 hours. The weapon and armor situation is sorted. It's given Ohm and the crafters plenty of time to really get a lot of these stone skin glands complete. We actually only need two more. So now that we're back to more or less full fighting force, we could do a little bit of research. We could even get a couple of vanity projects done. There's one that was suggested in the comment section yesterday that I think is incredible. First thing we're going to do, though, let me just throw down this plasma fusion reactor. And then while they're working on that, we're going to go through and repaint everybody's armor. So someone suggested repainting the armor based on what house they're part of. That way, it's going to be so much easier to keep track of, well, of everybody. Oh, really? High blood pressure extreme. I'm starting to think... Maybe less gourmet meals because our people cannot handle it. I think salt has been the biggest killer of this colony so far. <laughs> what a sad death for poor Hezron. Too much salt. Oh, 26 melee too. Sorry, more to the point. What the hell is even that? Magic Baby's just in here brushing up on its melee skills. Before we bury Hezron in memory of Hezron, there has to be a way that we can get around these salt-induced heart attacks. I remove the bloody heart attack mod and everybody's dying of it anyway because of the mountains of salt that we eat. Wasabi paste, I assume that's just for sushi. Are any of these particularly healthy? What about like hot sauce? I mean, sure, it's probably not healthy, but the alternatives are ketchup and chocolate syrup and uh, blocks of salt. Uh, we could. <laughs> we could make, uh... Luciferian powder instead. 10 Luciferian makes 5 Luciferian powder. Wow. It's very expensive, but you get 
you know, like a very minor version of the effects, but with none of the negatives. And realistically, we can make as much Luciferium as we like. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed those uh, brief two minutes of peace there. I mean, we didn't have to worry about that. We, we can just ignore that for the time ah, being. <sighs> Is that fair? Is that fair, really? Sporting the mech cluster essentially around one of our colonists. I mean, on the plus side, oh my fucking god. I was going to say it wasn't that many, but... Oh, you know what? It's actually really not that bad. The mechanoid clusters, as I've said before, they're only a problem when they've got those beta humanoids and those other crazy shit. This one will only be a few seconds. Oh. Unless some idiot with a giant hammer blows up the animatory. Oh, thank you for that. I, I'm going to have to try it, aren't I? I'm going to have to try and give everybody one of those impact hammers. Oh! Oh! Avion is catatonic because Arcadius the second died. Oh, wow. Goodbye, Hezron. I'm so sorry about the salt situation. The real problem we've got now is that we've not really got any more room for graves. We could fit another one in down here. We could remove Struprus's coffin, given that we're not going to need that anymore. We genuinely might have to reclaim a bit of the land down here to expand the uh, expand the graveyard. I still feel bad about cats in Cuba. Funeral is just reminding me more and more of what a mistake that entire thing was. Imagine how Ohm feels. He spent years and years and years researching all of these crazy barnacks and technologies, only for it to horribly backfire and get two people killed. The guy is kind and also unbelievably possessive. He he loves these people. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for Captain Cuba. The 12th of August is officially bioweapon banning day. And that means the only person who is alive with the kind of successful outcome of that is Arcadius the first. Makes him a little bit more special. He benefited entirely from all of that research, but we, we paid a pretty hefty price for it. Tear it down, um. Tear it all down. We do have a lot of things left over. And we might as well use them. They might as well do some good. The butcher's nails, though, those have got to go. Poor Om just wanted to keep everybody safe by building the ultimate weapon. And now, now look where that's got us. Oh, my God. That scares me. But that scares me from the perspective of what the hell has the game actually sent us to go for a merciless void raid at this stage of things. I did. I did increase the difficulty to merciless. I couldn't help myself, okay? Oh, God. I don't even want to look. Oh, shit. There they are. I didn't even want to look at the note for... Did I just read what I think I've read? Oh! <laughs> That's a game over. 28 Jagoth Gurs. The masked visage of Jagoth Gur drives people insane. Anyone close to him risks having a psychotic mental break. Wouldn't that be a shame if you were a melee-only colony, huh? What a fool you are. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Nope. No, I'm not a fan of this at all. I wonder how long it would take before the mental breaks. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's every single person who was in combat. That's, uh... That's pretty insane. Thank you. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to everyone. I'm going to say, uh, search and destroy, because it turns out we need to kill these things really fucking quick, actually. The Obsidian Saint versus the Deranged God. What a complete mess. Oh! Arcadius was unaffected. Of course he's unaffected. He's got the psychic implant. The whole colony was driven mad, but one. The Obsidian Saint himself. Legitimately. The whole colony. <laughs> so uh, let's hope we don't get another raid. Otherwise, this is a uh, game over. This is 100% a game over. We need to finish them off too, I assume. So Anfisa Crow Arcadius obviously was immune to it. And, well, Magic Baby, I don't think it really counts. Oh, Shotgun Diplomacy was also out of the original Psychic Blast. So we have four people and a baby wearing a helmet to try and defend the base. If Void sends anything else. And there goes Fendeldorp as well. 79 had... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, heart exploded because of the... Well, you know, you, you know what's happening. Salt Mountain strikes again. Old age, high blood pressure extreme. But before they died, they had a cocktail. 
some razor, whatever the hell razor is, and some uh, luciferian powder. And then their heart exploded. And I'll be honest, if I was 79 and about to die of a heart attack, I think that's probably the way I'd want to go too. I'm not going to be sad about that one because the old age really did do them in pretty significantly. They weren't the most useful colonist. And you know what? They died. They died happy. Well, that might be an understatement. They died ecstatic. I would have a funeral, but everybody's lost their minds. So we'll just get you buried. No. No. We're just going to have a nice quiet funeral for Fendeldor. Okay. See, now that's, that's a problem. That's a that's a problem. I thought I'd have more time. I just anesthetized the only bloody people that we had up on their feet to give them stone skin glands in case there was an emergency raid and we were only able to fight it with like five people. I thought I was being, you know, fairly coy about it. Everybody's gone mad. Let's upgrade the only people we've got. Wasn't expecting Void to immediately clap me before I had a chance to get... Okay, okay. That's fine though. Hang on, that's not as bad as I thought. 40, 48, is that it really? I can't be right. Oh, no. No, it's really not right. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so, hang on. Who have we got to fight this raid with? Uh, we've got, we've got Ohm. Even the magic baby is out. We have, we have Ohm. Like, like, legitimately only Ohm. 123 people. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the kill box is... Uh, I mean, uh, essentially functionally useless unless you've got a minimum of three people, right? We might as well just send him out. And then we just pray that he gets in some big explosive hits with the impact hammer and they go the way of the Black Leaper. Although I can't help but notice they've got friggin' Alpha and Beta Poly armor again. Look at all this. Look at all this Alpha and Beta Poly. Is that hyper alloy? What is that you've got there? A bronze. I mean, is it the bronze alloy though? That's still pretty damn powerful. What is that guy wearing? Look at that. Patrick Arta- Oh, he's got the Artificer's mask. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, I'm not, uh... Not optimistic about this one. I don't think they'll kill Ohm. Oh my god, look at them fucking queuing up. <laughs> I don't think they'll kill Ohm. I think what's more likely to happen is it's going to take him so long to kill them, they're going to go into the base and just steal our valuables, and there's nothing I can do to stop them. It's taking him so long, people are getting back up from the anesthetic. What the fuck? Why? Of all the things to go for. Don't kick my damn mushrooms. That took him four hours to kill 27 people. So we're going to send him and Arcadius and hope between the two of them, they might get this down. Even with Arcadius and Ohm up there, it's taking too long. So we've got Stroopers and Crow down here defending the entrance to the base. I can't believe how long it's taking them. This is insane. Oh my God, I think they're finally done. We've got two left. And even them, they're putting up a hell of a fight. Well, they destroyed one of the turbines, but at this point, I'm not entirely sure that we need it because our second plasma... The fuck? I don't care about Toy Boy Roy. When... When did I build two more? Um, I, I definitely remember putting one here, but... It's... What? Silly me. <laughs> I guess I just forgot that I queued up a... Whole plasma fusion reactor. <laughs> Where did it come from? So we've almost got everybody upgraded at this stage with the stone skin glands. That cancels out one of our biggest, well, it doesn't necessarily cancel it out, but it helps defeat one of our biggest obstacles, that being burn damage. Seeing as that was the thing that was really taking out our colonists, not just in terms of straight up killing them, but in terms of dropping them, taking out the fight with all the pain. The big thing we need is weapons. I don't think we ever got around to testing the Star Steel as a stuffable weapon type. So I put down a couple of robots here and set up an automatic Star Steel and Star Steel wool production. Now let's get Ohm to crack out that weapon fast. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, let's take a look. 37.41 damage. 149% melee armor penetration. The armor penetration is great. But bear in mind how long it took Arcadius to take out those enemies. And he has the, uh, a legendary adamantium drill that does 348.99 melee damage per second and 112% armor penetration. I feel like the sword isn't going to cut it. And I meant that metaphorically, not literally. It's a sword. So as far as I'm concerned, all that means is we need to do a bit more research. Oh! That might be the one. Chainsword. That was the one that allowed us to make the uh, the Persona Chainswords, right? Persona Chainsword or Persona Energy Claw. Well, look, this one's got over double the armor penetration. I I I'll try them both. I mean, we could always give it a go. Persona Chainsword we craft here. Yeah, what if we craft the actual... 
I assume at the fabrication bench. Chain. There it is. Chain sword. 500 gold. So I thought I'd start working on the armor painting idea. I'm just not really sure how best to do it. So right now I've got them all arranged by biological houses. So say for example, Penny is a good one. So Penny is Penny Vibing Gravy Plasma, but she is biologically part of house pepper stasius so i thought if we paint her the same colors as the rest of the pepper stasius family otherwise it's going to get a little confusing say someone like siala right now even though she's the mother of basically all of the dimos dynasty she would be siala gravy plasma even though she has no affiliation to that family at all that's just the name of her ex-husband so we've got the sabats here we've got pepper stasius we have the single Vivin Gravy Plasma, biological Vivin Gravy Plasma, and then the Dimos Dynasty. Everybody in the middle are unaffiliated. You won't even give me five minutes just to just to paint some armor, huh? Thank you for that. Good, good. Now we look like the Power Rangers. So red is House Sabat. Blue is House Gravy Plasma. Purple is House Dimos. And then the single green that we've got is what's left of Vivian Gravy Plasma. White is unaffiliated, but if they're, say, a colonist with, with no relations whatsoever and they marry into a house, we might as well just color them as the same as the house armor. I have no idea what to do with Ciala's magic baby, which is uh, a very strange sentence. There we go. One chainsword. Oh, no. This weapon bears a representation. <laughs> bears. <laughs> I don't need to read the rest. 55.6 melee damage per second and 87 melee armor penetration. I mean, by itself, it isn't bad. But again, the DPS is pathetic compared to the drills. What's happened to the power? What? Why's the power gone out? Really would love to use the... Oh. Oh, it's back online. <laughs> what happened? And then we want a bond chainsword. I don't think I've actually ever used this mod before. I assume I'll just upgrade the quality of the chainsaw that we that we had already. There we go. There we go. Don't you recycle that. Put that down. Raven Laura. Persona chainsaw. Traits fast mover. That's pretty good. 52.4. It's 4%. Is that like... Is that worse? Oh, it's going down from master word to excellent. Oh. Allows them to move 15% faster as long as the weapon is held. Uh, got to be honest with you. Raven Laura. Then we got that covered. Now you go. Straight in the bin. Thank you, Raven Laura. Is, is there any way to fix this high blood pressure? Because it's really... It's really fucking us up. All the meals now have luciferin powder, but I guess the damage is done, right? I don't think a heart transplant or anything would change it. Potentially lethal, no. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about that one. Why don't we go and ask Hezron? Hey, Hezron, is the, uh, is the high blood pressure from the salt lethal at all? Thanks. Thanks, Hezron. That's, uh, that's really helpful. I think it all... Where did the prisoner go? Hey? How did you get out? What? Either way, in all seriousness, I think the heart attacks are actually caused by mod conflict more than anything else. Or, or we've got another mod that adds that as a as a potential condition. Could be to do with the uh, mod that gives them old aging effects. So even after all this, we, we still have no better weapon than the drill. I mean, in all seriousness, it would be the Virtuous Treaty, which is a slight upgrade of that. It, it's got a bit more... A bit more DPS, way more armor penetration. So if we needed everybody adamantium those, it would be an upgrade. But we're still using adamantium from the industrial era. And it feels a bit, it just feels weird. I could also lean quite heavily into the impact hammers. But I think that would be um a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and put Ohm just back on the high tier of research, I think. See if we can, see if we can get something. Void is still our storyteller after all. So, I mean, shit, I'd really love... I really love like a like a good weapon. Oh yeah, no. What I meant is a machine that does art for me good. Ah, there it is. That's the thing that we need. We just didn't have the bloody research for it, right? I mean, I could have found that if I'd have opened up the research tree and used the search bar, but never mind. Factory research terminal multi analyzer makes the quantum device. Get it? High tier. Oh, this is good. We finally unlocked the way into Project Room Factory Insanity. That is so, so good. And there it is, one quantum device. It's actually not that expensive. Oh, it's also fucking tiny. Magic Baby is now old enough to work. And honestly, I think that is uh, a very special message 
to end today's episode on. Perfectionist insatiable. Tough. Wow. Okay, magic baby. Let's see what you've got then. Even though I feel like it's been another episode of Raid After Raid After Raid, we've actually had some pretty, pretty massive stuff happen. We got the weapon testing done at long last, which was awful. Uh, we got the extra reactor built, or two apparently, one of which I don't remember at all. The great Captain Cuba incident leading to the banning of bioweapons in the colony is uh, fairly high tier. And, and actually being able to use it the last of those things, I, I implanted Ohm and Struprez and Ciala and Arcadius with wings. All of them have, have full-on feathered wings now. We've got the color-coded armors. We finally got way into Project Rim Factory Insanity. And more importantly, we survived. Granted, at this stage, we still haven't had a Void Raid. But, you know, that'll be, that'll be the real test. More importantly, thank you all for watching. And thank you all for continuing to enjoy the adventures of our good friend, the green boy himself, Ohm. And his many friends who have undergone a, a transformation into a, 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 a higher level of being. Yes, it is getting a little bit weird that we've got an upper echelon of winged beings ruling over the others with an iron fist. I wasn't going to mention it, but then you brought it up. It's incredibly selfish of you, and you're making me look bad. Thank you to Felpi, Facunda Vasquez, This Be Willis, Ux Universe, Vash, Scaps, Skaz, Ken, The Eagle, Valkyrie, Chax, Hezron, Icewolf, Black Onyx, Adam Spleen, Udric and Juicy Jason for well, their support the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible. Thank you for bearing with me today while I've been under the effects of about four hours of sleep, which is highly not recommended. Thank you as well to Green Seuss, Almadel Solomonis, Pim, Rubicon, Captain Cuba, Taters Angus, Sangri, The Gentleman Ghostronaut, Mystic370, Marcus Absent, Dion, Blood for the Blood God, Dodger, Shittledur, and Zega, the Chaos King. 